OTPH. Okay, go live. All right. Can you hear me? Is my audio working? Probably also hear all those clips. Clicks, click, click, click. Hmm. Anyways. I expect this to be a fairly boring stream, but I need to start doing this, and I need to start getting this stuff out there. So it is what it is. I'm sure, further streams as I figure out this tech will be much more interesting. such a delay on the stream and then it kind of dies and I go in my look at my live panel and it says YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming what does that even mean I'm not running anything weird to invest in something. Yeah, that is quite the stream delay. Okay, well, let's just start doing some work and we'll get there. All right, so I want to go to start with who responded to the survey. Start with what you wanted. Okay, so we did. No response. All right, first. All right. That actually comes through. It definitely comes through on my OBS. Does it come through on the stream? Oh, good. You can hear me. Is it is is my clicking annoying? Is uh. Let's see. I am asking this question. At 4.29, is my clicking annoying? 4.30 now. I should get a word showing up on here. But... Alright, 12th Street. Right. Huh? Uh, right. 
characters. Okay. So yeah, it's been a minute. And I don't see that the... Ah, and finally that dash is there. So, it looks like my streaming is at least three minutes delayed. Maybe that's because I'm kind of a new account for the streaming thing. Up oh, there, it updated. And that is still an old update. What the heck? I mean... YouTube is not... More info. Oh good, it just makes the error bigger. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to switch to another computer for the next stream. Nope, it's it's getting there. Not enough video being updated out output. Is it because I'm not filling the screen with stuff and it's getting confused? Put lots of cyberpunk everywhere. Does that help YouTube? Does that help you, YouTube? Nope. Okay. Uh. Scene transitions. Oh, I see. That, that's cool. Didn't even consider that. I mean, it could just be the, the video that I'm doing is, is I'm doing, uh, doing 1080p, maybe I can't handle it. Audio bit rate's fine, video bit rate, that looks fine. Eh. Well, let's just keep going, There's lots of work to do. Response. No response. Oops. Yeah. All right. Another nice street. Let's see if someone eventually comes into the more post-apocalyptic nature. Post-apocalyptic nature of it all. Tonto Street. Nash fight him. Like a little play on Ash Ketchum. Cute. All right. Not much of a description there, but we'll go with it. Ooh, here we go. I have a feeling I know what uh, what show this is all about. Good, good. Hmm. Think that's a racial slur. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's a Native American tribe. 
So let's. I mean, that's that's a that's a name, but the street name. Hmm. Funny, this person actually lives on Pleasant Street. Okay. Hmm. So it's a Native American tribe from New England. It's also kind of a term for the Northeastern United States as a whole. But it looks like it might be supposed to have Umlaut? Is that just a pronunciation? Abeneki. Okay, that could be an interesting little twist on that. Right, let's get that out. Who lives there? Klepto Trash Man. I mean... Hmm. I'm not sure what to do with that. Really not sure. Is the stream updating live? Hey, it, it's keeping up. It's keeping up. Okay. Every time I check in, it seems to have moved a little bit further. And that person hasn't turned theirs in. All right. No response. Darling Street. A street inhabited by video games, tiny alligators, and a shocking amount of ladders. Okay. Also terrified of ladders. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure out... Explain literally. That sounds like explains it all. But I'll have to... have to look into that. Little Furin Can Furin Can. Okay. Every building is a dojo. Okay, big eye, small mouth. Applicable. Hmm. <laughs> no. So I set up the survey <clears throat> in a way that people can. Um, a street inhabited by video games. Tiny. Okay. Well, there's that was the that was myself from. So that was a couple before. Okay. So that's okay. Yeah, I, how do I? I can't chat when the window is minimized like this. Or not minimized, but hidden. I can only chat when I when I full screen this, and then I can't do anything else. Um, YouTube says my my video output is too low. Could we get too high of a resolution? Question mark. <laughs> All right. 
Okay. So so this person didn't give me a, a street, but they did give me a character. So presumably they don't wanna they don't wanna put this character on a specific street and they want me to pick one to put the character on. Okay. So we'll just have a little dangling character down here. Price turn one two. Okay. That's got quite the background to it. And aha, aha, cool. Yeah, so I set up the survey such that people could just give no response if they didn't want to fill in the uh, NPC in the street, because not everybody wants to get into the creative process. They're sometimes they're just like, just give me the game. I don't want to design it for you. Completely understandable. This is more of a voluntarily voluntary. Hey, you know, if you want to be you know, part of this, involved, you want to contribute a little bit. Uh, see your character show up. Um, tech nerd and cutting edge Windows Live Messenger. Um, okay, we'll have to kind of square that away with the lack of a real. Yeah, there's there's kind of a lack of a stay at home and sit in front of the computer attitude that was um, that's kind of become part of this last decade uh, a little bit more like get out there and do things you know especially for an RPG uh, it isn't um, it's it's yeah oh boy Okay, this, this might actually morph and way might actually do better as a district than a street, because that's a lot of um, Thomas Lynn. Tom, Tomas Oliveira, the verdant mighty fighter. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. Hmm. Okay. Keeps tabbing it for some reason. Okay. Making our way through this. Okay, that looks like a very specific show reference. I'll have to investigate. Obviously, although I do love the 90s, I don't know every single... I'm not aware of every show. Means description. This one. Another so several several of these surveys I'm going through are no response, no response. And I haven't I haven't actually read through all of these, so in the interest of not accidentally streaming something horrifyingly offensive or something. Kilo or greenhouse. I mean it might these references might be uh what S subconsciously or like hidden offensive, but I'd have to, I have to, that's why I have to go through and look into these in much detail. Um, right. See, every time it just stops, it just stops, stops being live. Steven Barnes, the one person commenting on my stream right now, just got to your survey. The setting of rocket power, I'm not entirely sure how to make it easier for you. I mean, <laughs> as, as you can see on these other ones, a description. Let's look up what rocket power is. American anime. Okay. 
So that's very late nineties. So this would have just been just been showing up. So let's do rocket power. So this would have had a, a about a season, maybe have started on the second one. Like they may have started production, but the third certainly wouldn't have existed. Interesting. The previous page said there were four seasons, yes? For four seasons, and then I go to the IMDB and there's only three listed. Okay. Well let's let's the one for more seasons. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so it looks like it's an extension of Rugrats. So that was something I was going to go over because uh, rug, rug rats. If I'm not mistaken, Rugrats was, yeah. So Rugrats was also airing at the same time and went through the entire decade. It's very much the same art style, but it looks like older kids. Gang of four young friends. Hmm. Let me look something else up. So that was a Nickelodeon show. And it looks like... Okay. So it looks like the Disney response to that was The Weekenders, but that came out in the year 2000. But it looks very, like, this 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 particular ensemble looks very familiar to me. I, I watched The Weekenders pretty heavily when that came out, so. <clears throat> okay. I'll have to kind of go through season one, maybe. Steven... Barnes, if you're if you're listening, you could uh, you could certainly make it easier for me by describing the aspects of the show that are most important to the street, because this is a street full of actual human beings, not a street full of cartoon characters. So they're going to in some way pick out aspects of the show to bring into their local popular culture and you know i think let's see let's put some notes here so um obtained leaked production stills of future seasons unaired and now use them to put on stage plays And then for character, we've got Tico Bikini. Wise, but conveys it in a nutty way. Okay. Okay. So I have to think of a street name. Southern California Beach Resort of Ocean Shores. Yeah, there we go. Ocean Shores. Stream sports. Okay, so seems like into extreme sports. Seems like a very SoCal thing to do. Tico, Tito. T so instead of Tito Makini, it's Tico Makini. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to probably self-styled philosopher. Okay, I'll probably have to watch that and get kind of a feel and translate that to the artist. Um, just well, sorry. What I was saying is that uh, all all characters ideally are going to get drawn. Uh, in some way, shape, or form, uh, whether it's like a, kind of an ensemble picture of uh, um, there's there's some responses. I I have I have let's see I need to type this out. I have got to 
how to reduce this delay. Well, maybe there's like a, maybe instead of using YouTube chat, I should use something else. Because I know, I wonder what the actual delay is. And it's interesting, I see your, well, my bad. There's no, there's no timestamp on it. How am I supposed to know when things are posted? <laughs> uh, maybe I'll have to switch over to Twitch. I did, I did one Twitch a while back, and it, it was fine. There's nothing terrible about it, but uh, just kind of figured this would, this would just work fine. But it's kind of, it's kind of not doing so well. All right, no response there. No response. All right, Loud Love Avenue. Okay, so this is a uh, artists, bands, coffee bars, music venues. Okay, I can envision that. Um, Bohemian. Bohemian. Okay. Landlocked surfer. Okay, so that's certainly who speaks for Jeremy. Who speaks for Jeremy in deep resounding tones. Eddie Vedder. So, Pearl Jam. I'm assuming that's a joke on Pearl Jam. Eddie Vedder, Vedder Eddie. Did I skip the character there? Oop. Don't, don't close, no, don't close that tab. <laughs> I was using that tab. All right. Like Skater Town vibe. Yeah. Extreme Sports. Skater Town vibe. So I typed in Edder. Yeah, so Edder. That's what I mean. That tells you. This comes first. I'm gonna. Leader of any click can break the fourth wall. Can and will break the fourth wall. Back to zero. Okay. Jury Sinfield. Sinfield. Hmm. I don't know that he fits in the click breaking the fourth wall street. And that's another thing. I've I've <clears throat> I've broken up all the streets. They're going to be broken into uh, districts. So a district is a grouping of streets in a region, and then those districts are what vote for um, Okay. I don't know if he was trying to write nerd or neat here because both are one letter away. <laughs> Typical recluse need. Ter te Tever, Tever Melmont. Okay, pretty good. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, what I was what I was saying earlier. We're gonna we're gonna get as many characters as possible uh, drawn. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to message this person because where's all red, short, and shady is not exactly a description of a person. <laughs> Let me tag that one. Describe the street your NPC lives on. No. It was an optional question. <laughs> I left all this stuff optional on purpose. So you don't you don't have to fill it out. If you're like, oh, I don't wanna I wanna I don't wanna name a street. That's fine. You don't have to name a street. <sighs> Degeneration. Average build, red hair, blue eyes, big wrestling fan. Always try to speak with a laugh. Hmm. Wrestling future. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's enough. I'm going to try and get uh, either one character from a street or maybe a grouping of characters for a more prominent street. Uh, Houses line both sides with little car traffic. Okay. Houses line little car traffic. Kriboy. Is that a thing? Terraria. I don't. Is that supposed to be pronounced Cryboy? See if the uh, see if the NPC gives any light to this. Rocco's Modern Drive. Okay. Waiting for that one. Wallabies and cows. Just imagining everyone dressing up in those stupid outfits. Like, not the... Oh, where did I see that? Oh, there's, there's a question. Ontario Slam TV 2012. I'm going to say it out loud, but I'm also going to type it out. Um, where is the cam campaign setting? Our world, United States, Canada, 1990s. Uh, so I explained all this uh, a little bit in the Kickstarter and more so in the uh, in an interview that I gave and that I linked in one of the updates. But it is it is our world, our our Earth. Like everything happened exactly as it did up until the year 2000. <clears throat> Actually, the stroke of midnight on the year 1999. So not quite the year two thousand. The moment it was the moment it was two thousand, uh, everything kind of happened, and um, the the Y two K bug actually happened, and it had far more devastating consequences than people expected. The <clears throat> U S has a lot of nuclear missiles stored, and um, obviously I'm not you know. I'm not in the government. I don't know where they're keeping all the nuclear missiles. But for the sake of this particular story, they just all stockpiled them in the, the middle of the United States somewhere. Um, still, I might I might pick a definite location. I might just kind of leave that vague and let you know people running the story uh, at their own home table decide that because I, I don't know that it really adds much to like define clearly like you know oh it's 
obviously in Montana or something like that. That doesn't that doesn't necessarily help. Uh, but all of these nuclear missiles at the same time had the same error, and they all went off at the same time in the exact same you know picosecond, so that uh, you know one bomb did not obliterate another bomb before they all went off. Right. So they all happened exactly at the same time, even though they're stacked one one on top of each other, and although the distance that those bombs actually you know traveled is not you know if you drop if you have two atomic bombs go off in the exact same location it doesn't make a bigger boom uh, per se uh, you might what well, the force might push off each other or whatever but it doesn't necessarily make double the boom uh, but in this case you know thousands and thousands of bombs going off at the same time uh, definitely had a, an effect it caused a major uh, tectonic event where the center of the United States just kind of collapsed into the earth and the two coasts slammed into each other, filling that gap. <clears throat> and the resulting tectonic shifting uh, flooded the world as, as we know it, uh, with the exception of what's left in the United States. So I say the two coasts slammed into each other. It's a little bit more like... Um, the uh, so the, the the three cities that survived are New York, Los Angeles, and San Francisco. Those are the three major metropolitan areas that kind of survived, uh, mostly intact. Again, not you know you could find you could have other uh, regions where there's still some skyscrapers standing, but those are the three that we're going to be exploring in this and the. Um, and so they, they didn't, yeah, so the, the, as far as people in America are concerned, the world is flooded and they're the only survivors, but that's okay because it's the nineties and they, such a, such a terrible catastrophe could only have the response of just building more houses and more suburbs and just, uh, surviving. And there's a number of, uh, interesting bits of technology that are really going to help that <clears throat> world fit together. Uh, the 90s was really big on recycling, and so recycling is going to be very big. So everything is recycled, the, uh, the food, the, um, uh, the, <laughs> the people. <laughs> the, it's, not, it's not Soylent Green, it's Soylent Pink, and it is people. Um, and just the, the clothing and all the fashions just kind of cycle in like 10 years, you know. In that same thing, and it never, the world never really, <clears throat> or has a really hard time recovering. Everybody wants to kind of cling to that that last uh, that last decade and never let go. Um, and uh, there are going to be aspects of Canada that survived, and there are going to be parts of uh, Mexico, uh, the northern part called the uh, Norteño. Um, I'm sure. My, my, my pronunciation of Spanish words has always been terrible uh, due to my uh, lisp issue. But, um, yeah, and uh, I have I have people in other countries around the world who are interested in exploring what happened to their countries as a result of this. Um, <clears throat> Russia did not suffer this problem because all of Russia's nuclear missiles uh, were duds. <laughs> so this is... Uh, you know, at some point I start to take some liberties with the way the world is and say, oh, well, actually, this is the truth. And, you know, I can I can do that because we didn't actually have a nuclear war where all of these bombs were detonated. And so we don't know. Maybe 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 all of Russia's nukes are duds and would never actually work. Maybe they're all, you know, put, put together with spit and duct tape. Um, and America's bombs were all so perfectly timed by like a watchmaker, uh, such that they all go off in the exact same moment. And so, uh, yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> hope that hope that answers your question. The red hair guy with the wrestling shirt. Um, okay. Uh, so, the <clears throat> average build red hair. So that would you, Notre Dame. Um, let me type this out. Sorry. Okay. 
So let me go down there. Now let's just finish up this and I'll go back. Um, this person put their email three times. Oh, here we go. Okay. Some place where people took tweet a lot. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, so it looks like it is maybe maybe the delay is picking up because that was pretty fast. Okay. Um <clears throat> okay. Yes. So, and they have not yet, okay, and last one, this person just, that one looks pretty good, Discovery Street. Miss Mal and Frazzle and bus driver. Okay, so that's the this is this is the learning street. And then finally Okay. Again, not again. I can hear myself there. Uh, okay, I can add that creepy couple creepy people in the house that looks abandoned. Okay. Uh, can I can I scroll down? Comment? There we go. That's the problem. Okay. All right, so these are our streets and characters. <clears throat> oh, what did it do? Put it under the wrong street. Derp. So I'm probably not going to get into uh, that level of detail. It's just kind of the broad stroke. So is this a street? Uh, the the point of this uh, point of this book is to give a lot of a lot of detail about how things work. Oh, it's the street you grew up on. Okay, and is the NPC you? <laughs> You make sure I put a happy face there, so you know I'm not I'm not laughing at you. I just think it's cute. Um, okay, so let's open up my document here. So unfortunately, actually let's let's give this a try again. Let's do another window capture and try doing all my Chromium. But it's not it's not picking it up. It is right here. And I'm gonna type into it. It even catches my cursor. It sees my cursor. But it's not actually
Yeah, I'm, I, po I apologize for typing all this out into a, uh, a text document here, but for some reason, I'm using Google Docs to, to, to organize everything and share it to people who need to, uh, like the artists and stuff, who need to get this information. Um, but for whatever reason, OBS is just refusing to stream. Aw, that's sweet. Can't wait for you to play.